In this video, I'll show you how to do drum brakes. This is a 77 Impala, but this applies pretty much to all drum brake cars. It's pretty much the same procedure. So let's begin. All right, we're changing the shoes now. Now these retain the shoes in. So what you gotta do is you gotta pop these in and turn this in the middle around so it could fit through the slot over there, through the slit. like that and this pulls out from the back now you can pick one of these up from AutoZone, Pep Boys, or wherever your auto parts dealer is this is another way to take these off you just pop this on twist it and it should come right off just like that okay you might want to take a picture here of how everything goes so when you're putting it back together you'll know. Or, you can always reference the other side. Don't take the other side apart. It's pretty much the same thing. And just uh, do it the same way as the other side. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take everything apart. I'm gonna put it on the floor how everything goes. So when I put the new shoes on, I'm just gonna have to replace the shoes and, and put the springs on exactly the way they were. So I'll go ahead and do that now. There's one of these. Whoa. So there goes one spring. There's another spring here. That just popped out. Pops out over here. Everything hooks up pretty much over here. And you have a little spacer plate here. Just like that. So you can see everything comes off for one piece here. All the springs are where you want them. And the e-brake is right here, so that just has to pop out of this hole. And this whole thing will come out in one piece. Just like that. Alright, so I have it on the bench here. And this is pretty much how it looks. You have this in between the two shoes. And you have a spring and adjuster also between the shoes. This is the new shoes. And also make sure one shoe has a longer lining than the other. So make sure you put them on the exact same way. So I'm going to go ahead now and put these springs and parts over to the new shoes. Okay, make sure these are on top. Stick over there. And the square ones are on the bottom where the adjuster goes. Pop this spring out. This goes in the hole, just like that. Keep that to the side. Same thing here. Put that in there, just like that. This is going to go here. Alright, now this, there's a spring here. So just pop that off. Put that there for now. And this over here, I try to keep everything in one shot. I don't, I don't like to take the spring off because it's a bit of a pain to take to put back on. So this has to come off this shoe. So let's see if I can pry it off. Just like that. And that goes in here, remember this goes here, that goes there, and this goes here. So, just like that. Okay, now I transferred most of the mechanisms over and the springs. This over here and the spring and the adjuster, I'm gonna put those on when I put the shoes on. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put this in, in first. All right, well, one thing before I put the shoe on, I like to clean this over here. You could use a little bit of sandpaper. I'm just gonna use a Scotch-Brite pad here. And I'm gonna clean this over here. So when the retainer is on, we have enough space to put the, spring, the springs on here and they seat nicely. And I also have a video on how to change this wheel cylinder. I have the link in the description below. So I'm just going to go ahead and clean this up now. Alright, now 
this sits nicely over there and it's nice and flush in the back so that's good okay I'll put this on here okay now the objective here is to put this in here and make sure this this piece here goes into this slot here into this slot right here All right, pop this here in there and this goes in there and remember like I said this goes in there just like that this is gonna go over there but for now let's put this in this goes in the back there's a hole in the back pop it through the hole now you put this on Line it up with the slit. I'm gonna use the tool here to do this. Just grab it and turn it. Let me turn it some more. And that is good there. So I wanna show you guys what I'm doing here. This should go in like that. Then it's supposed to twist and sit in there like this. Okay, just so you guys know what I'm doing, just like that, twist and sits in. All right, in case you guys missed it on camera, this thing goes into this, there's a slit, there's, a, there's slits in here, and it goes onto the pad, let me show you, on the other side, just like this. So that's one of the things you're supposed to put on when you put this on. All right, and that's everything. And now I just have this that goes over here. All right, now I got new nose pliers here. This has to go here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Just like that. Okay, this popped out. Put this back in. And push the spring in a little bit. So we have enough room for the other spring. Okay, now, when you put the other shoe in, I'm just going to take this off and put it on the other shoe. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put this on, then hook this, bring it down, put this in. The wheel cylinder goes in here, so I'll make sure that, as I push it down, also goes in the slit over there. And then I'm going to put this on over here. So you got to do all that at once. Alright, I'm putting this in. Just like that. The e-brake goes in here. Just like that. So let me put this in up here on top. Gotta put everything in at once. This may pop out, and you just put this back in the wheel cylinder. You can push this in. Okay, let's see here. Okay, everything looks good here. I'm gonna push this in a little bit so the wheel cylinder can compress. All right, now everything is in place. I'm gonna put the spring in later. I'm gonna put the retainer in for the shoe first. Okay, now everything's aligned, you're gonna pop this in. In. Now in this video clip, I show you guys how the clown miserably failed to put the upper spring on. 
Uh, that's because I can't find the actual footage of me doing it right. But this is this is essentially how I did it with the you know, nose pliers. All right, now I'm gonna put the spring and the adjuster on. Just pop this off. And pop this spring off. Go ahead and install it on the car. Pop this spring in. Just like that. Okay, the adjuster goes over here. I'm just gonna I'm gonna wind it all the way down. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in. Yeah, you just gotta muscle it in and make sure it sits good. There you go. Alright, so that's fully in and that's fully in. Alright, now you can use a flathead screwdriver here. I'm just gonna open this up to pry the shoes apart and I'm gonna see how this fits you want to make it like a, li a little bit of a snug fit so that's actually pretty good that's where you want it all right now I'm just gonna take some brake cleaner spray everything down let it dry and that's how you change shoes on drum brakes. Thanks for watching, subscribe, like me, check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Hasta la bye bye.